Okay. A um, couple of things. Probably the one big thing we have is the robbery. I'll start with that. But that was about 3 a.m. this morning, maybe a little bit after. We had a guy had given a ride to a woman that he knows, and they stopped outside uh, a home in the area of 10th Street and Highland Avenue. I think that's where they were. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, 400, 400 block of South Highland Avenue. So that's where they that's where they ended up. And he had noticed there was a car across the street. And there was a guy inside of it. Um, the woman that was in his car, they were having discussion. At some point, she reached over, grabbed the keys from his car, and started making comments that she was going to get her gun and shoot him and was yelling at the guy across the street who apparently she knew, but the victim didn't know and said that the she told this other guy the victim had a lot of cash and they should rob him. She got out of her car, or I'm sorry, she got out of his car and started to walk, and then he got nervous and he took off running because he didn't know who this other guy was, didn't know what they were planning on doing, so he ran away and then called police. So while officers were talking to him and, and getting that whole story, we had another officer that found the now stolen car. Uh, that was at a gas station and that was in, let's see, the 2900 block of East 6th Street. The woman that had taken the keys, she was inside the store. The guy that had been in that other parked car, he had been driving the stolen car. So once they got everything sorted out, both of those people were arrested. The woman was arrested for uh, robbery and grand theft and then the guy that had been driving the car was arrested for possession of a stolen vehicle no injuries um, she did mention that she was going to get a gun or that the friend should get a gun and, and rob him so that's where the robbery charge came from there was uh, the victim and the woman who was driving and then there was another car with two other people one other person yep so we had three people total we had the the victim uh, initially there was the woman that was our one suspect she was in his car and he gave her the ride to that area on the 400 block of south highland correct the victim did not know the other man the woman obviously did know that guy so we're on, uh, i guess not sure why that guy was there what they had planned on doing The other, I, the other guy didn't leave the, the car, but she took the keys, and then she was basically yelling at the other guy to rob the victim, and then she made the comment about getting a gun. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be her gun or from the other guy, but getting a gun and then robbing the victim. And so he basically, she had the keys, so he just took off running and got out of there at that point. Yeah. Right. Then the, the two, the man that had been in the other car, he got into the victim's car. Um, she obviously had the keys, so the two of them left. Well, it was it, it was right around, around that same time. I don't have the exact time, um, but the, the initial officer was still talking to the victim when another officer found the, the stolen car. Is there any damage into the car at all? No. Yep, it was the 2900 block of East 6th Street. That's uh, Cleveland. I think that's 6th in Cleveland. Yep, so the woman, her last name, I'll spell it. It's W-Y-C-H-E-S-I-T. First is Heather, H-E-A-T-H-E-R. Middle is Marie, M-A-R-I-E. And she's 34 and from Sioux Falls. What were her charges? She had robbery and grand theft were her two charges. And the guy, his last name, so he just had the possession of stolen vehicle. Uh, his last name is Tronson, T-R-O-N-S-O-N. -S -S First is Riley, R-I-L-E-Y. The middle is Joe, J-O-E, and he's 20 from Sioux Falls. Is 
Yeah, the, the victim was not injured at all. Um, so that's kind of the one big thing. The I'll just kind of wade through the other stuff. The aggravated assaults, we had a domestic. Another one involved juveniles. The last one, that was a guy that was hit with a car. Um, no real serious injuries. He did go to the hospital. Uh, initially, he refused the ambulance, but then changed his mind. But he had been walking following uh, a woman that he knows. Uh, they were walking on the sidewalk in the 1100 block of North Lincoln Avenue, and then there was a car that drove up um, at a, he said, a fairly high rate of speed, but they didn't give a, mm -hmm. I guess, a estimate of how fast it was going. But he drove up the curb and then hit the man and then continued driving. So it sounds like the woman and this guy that was driving the car, they somehow know each other. Um, anyway, officers found the suspect uh, uh, nearby, well, I guess, I think he went back to his place and that's where they found him. Um, he was arrested for aggravated assault uh, and then he had a warrant as well, but he didn't really give any indication why that took place. Um, from all the reports from the victim and the witness, the woman, uh, sounds like they were just walking and this guy just drove up and intentionally hit the victim. Yeah, and I don't, we don't, the report doesn't go into all those details, but it sounds like there is, they somehow knew each other. I'm not sure what the exact relationship, if, if it is, if there is acquaintance or just know each other in passing, that I don't know. But there was some, some type of connection where they basically know who each other, who, who they are, if that makes sense. Yep. Yep. This one. His uh, last name is uh, Pessima, P E S S I M A. First is Michael, M I C H A E L. Middle is, I'll just spell it, M U K E H. And he's 21 from Sioux Falls. Just the one count of aggravated assault was his charge. They didn't charge him with that. Um, you know, the aggravated assault is a felony. The hit and run would be, I suppose, if there was injury, that could be a felony as well. But uh, I think the aggravated assault probably took care of that. So. And when did you say that happened again? That was yesterday afternoon, um, probably about 2.30ish, oh. something like that. And that was the 1100 block of North Lincoln Avenue is where that happened. Um, let's see, the burglary, that was a home that was entered, no arrests on that. The disorderlies, most of those are trespassings. The family disputes are all reports. The frauds, we had one ID theft, one check, bad check. Larcenies, uh, a lot of shopliftings. There was a couple of cars that were entered as well, but nothing big, nothing high dollar taken. No big quantities on the narcotics. The rape was a report. Robbery we covered, uh, nothing big from the simple assaults, those were more domestics. Nothing suspicious with the unattended death and the vandalisms, we had windows, apartment windows, business windows, and then one of them was uh, some graffiti that happened. So. And that's all I have unless you get.